Well, I mean, so far everything is everything is going well. We we are, I arrived a little bit earlier in order to to prepare a meeting with my colleagues. Uh, now the board members uh, are uh, arriving because we have a board meeting to, today uh, uh, later afternoon, and obviously the general assembly tomorrow. So the most of the federation would arrive during the day today. This is the the time. But so far everything everything is okay, and then I hope that it will also stay like this. In regards with the organization of the two events, we were very happy, very satisfied. So we're also the federation playing here, so we uh, we didn't have any issue. Um, we are in contact with the with the federation, like with all the other federations, in regards of the development, uh, the steps which has been taken, and uh, it is, looks very good. I had yesterday again very uh, deep conversation with the president, with the uh, with the uh, CEO of the of the federation about the steps and and about the activities. Uh, and it was uh, very pleasant to hear that uh, most of the activities are linked to the youth. This is where you have to start and, and build a new generation of players. And I understood that this, there are very, very successful steps uh, which have been taken. And uh, so it's, uh, I think it's all uh, satisfactory. And uh, um, also I believe that the, it helps uh, when you host the events, FIBA Europe events. This helps also the, to, you know, to improve the structure of the National Federation. So I think it is all on a good way with the, with the basketball in Cyprus. Well, this is look. This is not a secret, and it's very obvious that the top clubs play in a in a Euroleague. That's just a fact. Uh, so our competition is a second tier competition, um, and uh, I mean you mentioned yourself. The second we are now in the year number two, so it's still very young league. But I think already now and the final four in Athens was just a, a proof. Um, how mature the league uh, became and, and uh, the quality, also the quality of the organization. Um, it's very professional, it's very inclusive, so nearly every country has the chance either to qualify or have uh, direct spots. And this is what we also have in the Champions League, very uh, transparent system, uh, how which country can uh, receive a fixed spot. This is all based on ranking. This is all based on, uh, on the achievement of the club or clubs in the competition. Uh, so it's, it's very transparent. It's everything based on the sporting principles. So uh, whatever you achieve, you have to deserve. Uh, and I think it's, uh, uh, the, the, there is no, actually there is no open issue. And uh, obviously we are never happy, so um, the, the, the organization, the Basketball Champion League, uh, tries to be better and better. Every year now we will, uh, we will obviously, um, let's say, summarize the year number two and at the same time prepare the third season. Um, so it is never-ending process, uh, still things to be improved, no doubt. But already now, after two years, I, I think that everybody who has a little bit of experience with Champions League can confirm that uh, it is very professional and, uh, and very transparent. Well, this is, this is linked to the pillars of, of, of FIBA for the, for the future years. And one of the main pillars is the development of the national federations. So we want to have uh, better, even better national federations, um, stronger national federations. And it would obviously also uh, lift up the, 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 the FIBA as an organization. So this is one of the pillars. I could now speak very lengthy about, uh, about 3x3 which is uh, now an extremely important part. Um, it's not even a year ago when uh, the IOC decided to include the 3x3 into the Olympic program, which obviously is a, is a huge step uh, for us as a sport. It's a, it's a, it's a new discipline. It is uh, dramatically growing. Uh, the world to the, the, the zone championships uh, um, and now with being in the Olympic Games is also there is more more value so this is also one of the very important um, part of uh, growing and developing our our product if, 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 if you want to say so this would be the two but there are obviously some other things we are very much focused now on the on women's basketball uh, our board last two board meetings we were discussing very deeply in, in Europe what can be done what could we do more in order to promote the women's game we have the Euroleague women uh, maybe you saw the final four which was held in Chopron it was another fantastic event uh, sold out arena um, uh, but obviously we want to improve also the the, the women's game um, 
So there are many aspects uh, what to do and how to do how to do better. Uh, I think you know to compare. Obviously, we look always to football, but we have to also recognize that football is very very far away, uh, and this is not only but also because of the financial conditions. Um, but we have a competition with other sports like handball, volleyball, ice hockey, etc. But obviously, we are uh, we are the sport which is played nearly in every country in the world. And that makes basketball so special that, uh, that this is played really in every corner of the world. So there is still obviously a lot of things to be done to improve. Uh, we are on a good way. Um, also the new structure of FIBA, it's, it's also one of, the, one of the biggest changes in our organization, uh, one FIBA project. Uh, so there is, uh, there is a lot still to be done, but uh, we are working, especially I can speak for Europe, very closely with our national federations. Uh, the, the new system of qualification for the, for the World Cup in China has started the first two windows. Um, so there are really many aspects, really many aspects. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice challenge. Now we have, uh, in a few weeks, we have a window number three. Then we go uh, in September, August, September into window number four, which is actually already the second stage of the qualification. Um, World Cup in China, it will be a big event. I can tell you already now, it will be, it's going to be a big event. Um, it's, it's a big country, it's a huge media interest. Um, so uh, this is all developing very well. But we have, I mean, we have uh, other challenges. We have, uh, this is, but this is, I, I believe this is normal in every, in every business, in every organization that there are challenges to be, to be solved.